So going on guys, it's Chicago Bottle Digger here. I'm here with my brother Mike today. How's it going? We're out in the dump today. It's uh, not the oldest one, but we figured we'd just try and get out. But stay tuned and we'll let you know what you find. First bottle in the hole. Right. We've only been digging for about 10 minutes now. Got right, something we got. We'll see what it is. This right here, I have a milk. I don't know what it is. It's big. It might be a port. Port soda or something. Probably a jar or something. Yeah. The problem is we find a lot of stuff here that's newer. Throw away. Oh! Yeah, it's a slick whiskey. Slick whiskey. Wow! Oh. And unfortunately it's got a flash. Well, you, you'll see the large pile of stuff we find. Most likely machined, but we'll see. Nice. Stay tuned. All right, we got something in the hole. We got here. Oh man, it's a circle slug plate. Uh, East Chicago Dairy. Nice. You like that? Looks pretty good. Yeah. It's a good one. Older. See if, there's a day, see if there's a day code on it. I'm probably thinking 20s. But we'll we'll, sh we'll check it out in the wrap up. Looks like it's a milk bottle type of day for Michael. Yeah. Let's see. See which one this is. Yeah. I have a feeling I know. Oh, what do you, you just take a guess? I'm gonna go with a big town in, in Indiana, starting with an H. Yep, you're right. Classic Hammond. Hammond Dairy. Yep. She'll, wow. She'll clean up. I don't know if she'll clean up nice. There's looks to be some gummy mixture inside of it. We'll take her home, we'll anyways. See. All right, well, he's got one, another one in the hole. This must be my day. Ooh. Of white shit in here. Looks like a shoe polish bottle. Let's see. Uh, ever. What does it say? Something Baron Shoe. Rhode Island Covington. No, Providence, Providence Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Yeah. I'll clean it up. All right, stay tuned. Got here. I think it's a quart or a milk or something be a jar probably a milk we'll see still gotta, gotta wedge her out yeah. hopefully the top ain't shattered off right, this dump ain't that old I have a feeling if I, I know what it is In the back. Yeah. A lot of rust in it. Almost ready. Damn. Get it from the back. Oh, of course. Shattered. Darn. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one, too. That's at Swiderski Beverages. Yeah. Wow. Quart. Got a cool little embossing with a money sign on it. Mm -hmm. Julian Swiderski. JS on the bottom. Very that cool. would have been a really cool one if it was fixed. Well, whatever. Sobieski Bottling Works. Next time. Hey, what do you got here? I think it's a milk. Well, we'll see. Oh, oh boy. Wow. A slick whiskey Unbossed. machined. Great. Go ahead. See to the right? Yep. It's right above you, right there. Oh, no. A milk? Where does it say? Ham and dairy. Wow. There you go. 
Think it's broke? I don't know. We're about to find out. Pickle jar. Whoa. Any bossy on it? Nope. Let's see the bottom of it. Yeah. Cool. Great. What got here? Got a few stacked. Not sure what they are. But this one looks like it could be either a soda or a milk. Probably not too old. It's down for these 1920s. Sometimes you get some length for always. Yep. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can even get it out. It's probably a milk. Daisy, never seen this one. Bottling Works. Where's it out of? Chicago, Illinois. Wow. Of course, there's a nice flash crack in it. it really sucks. Here's, here's the short up. Nice, got the other one out. That would have been a really cool bottle, unless it fortunately has this flash crack in it. Two of them, actually. Typical. All the good stuff always has something wrong with it. Grab it out. Another one of these. Got to double up. I'm not sure what this is. What is it? Oh yeah, machined Gordons or something. That's, one. That's gonna be need to be dug out a little bit more. Hey, give me that. Cool jar, ball jar. Yeah. How old you say? Nice, got a 20s. Chip on the top. Keep it or? I mean, I'd put it up top with the rest of the pile. Got a few things showing. It's got this one loose. Anything on it? It says uh, something. Can you read that? Something New York. Colgate and Co. Might like be toothpaste. toothpaste. Yeah. It's kind of cool. New York. Neat. in it's kind of cool Chicago Atlas Brothers Atlas Brewing Company yeah it's cool it's a blob no is it hand tooled uh, that chip on the lip unfortunately neat all right we've got two things that one fell out with the wall it's 
got a Molson. Nice. Look, is it hand tooled? That's the older variation. Yep. What year is this, like 1890s? Yeah, maybe turn of the century. With lime and soda. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it's got a flash in the back, unfortunately. Too cool. Yeah, we got to just get one that's not broken. Okay. We got a Dr. James. There, can you read it? Out of uh, St. Phil, Louisiana. I don't know. I can't really see it. We'll clean it up. Could be. You guys can get it in the wall. Can it be intact? No. no. Hell no. It's pretty lodged in there, so it could be. Things. That, that one's whole right there. Look, the thing that just fell yeah, off. Yeah, I know, I see that. Just gonna get the shit out. This? What is she? See it? I think she does. I think it's a pond or something. It's. Can't really get see. I don't know what it says. It's cobalt, I think. Yeah, it is. From Philadelphia. Sorry for the poor. I don't know. John Weath, Philadelphia. Well, yes. Cobalt. Cobalt chew polish bottle. Uh, chemical. I don't know. I can't really read it. Yeah, let's see. What does that say? Amber, Ambler PA. Uh, something chemists. Caspian. Man, I can't even read these damn. It's got another one. It says, uh, pro proprietors, what? Proprietors. Is this the, uh. You had a pretty good scene today. Curtis and Perkins proprietors. Got some out? Yeah. What's it say? Uh, it's, oh, it's a Dr. Price. Dr. Price's delicious flavoring extract. It's out of Chicago, Illinois. Nice. Broken. Got a wiggle from this loop still. Right. Oh. I think it'll be intact. Yep. Is it a medicine? I don't know what it is. Oh, I've seen these. I've never found one intact. Some type of, I think it's a... I don't know what it is. There was obviously something on the front of it at one point. It's hand-tooled, though. Find. It's in the uh, wall, it fell out. It's Bring it in. Wakefield's Blackberry Bowl. Bring it in. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, okay. Very cool. Nice. Saw the hike bottle in there. Wow. Very cool. Here, bring it up here. Oh. Bring it up to the camera. Salad cream. Wow. Bring it up. It's a triangular bottle. Yeah, interesting. It's got a screw on it, but it's kind of cool. Like I said, we got something else here. I think it's a stove polish bottle. Oh, actually, oh, it's a Liquizone. Liquizone Manufacturing, Chicago, Illinois. 
Neat. And unfortunately, it's got a little chip out of the heel. What's that? I'm gonna go. Nice. So uh, Chicago Heights bottling works. Crown. Show the camera. Alright. Found anything? So I know what that is right there. Tops on it's a whiskey bottle from Chicago. I found one. Get it out. Video it. I'm videoing. Wow. That's kinda cool. Any color to it? That's amber. I think it's a Denny's. Yeah, it's a different variation of the one I found. Last video. Let's see. I don't know, it's actually a different one. Dell. Dalman and Co. Pretty sure it's a whiskey. Nice. Out of Chicago. Here, can I get it closer to the camera? Let's see what they Let's see. Uh, up Chicago. Oh, cool bottle. Yeah. Alright guys, this is going to be a little of a long wrap up after two digs today. We dug at two different dumps, so got everything pretty much clean. Sorry, not everything's pictured because unfortunately the one dump we dig is pretty bad when it comes to fragile glass. Uh, it was burned up pretty bad and even if, even when you bring these bottles out of the hole and you know the temperature is right even you try everything you can do they just they flash crack the glass is pretty brutal but to further ado let's check out some of the finds we actually found so don't have an explanation on everything so far but here's what i thought not one i thought was pretty cool john wyeth nbr philadelphia hand tooled so turn of the century maybe 1890s Another cool one, Casby and Madison Co. Chemist, Ambler, Pennsylvania. Nice cornflower blue, also hand tooled. <clears throat> Got a local pharmacist out of here. John McCalick, Pharmacist, Chicago Heights. Another one. J. Herman Druggis, South Chicago. Wakersfield Blackberry Balm. Kind of neat. Hand tooled also. Not really sure what this one was. But Philadelphia Hand Medco. Maybe there's a paper label on it. Maybe if you people from Philadelphia know, uh, put in the comments below. Dr. Jane's Tonic Vermifuge, 242 Chest Street, Philadelphia. Kind of neat to be finding all this stuff within Chicago land area martin martin chicago shoe dressing shoe polish bottle and then here's another version except it's a stove polish bottle also hand tooled got a larkin soap buffalo up pretty nice liquid zone manufacturing Chicago USA and then some other common ones Sloan's liniment Everett Barron's shoe polish co Providence Island Black Cat Stove Enamel. See Johnson and Co. 
very common um, Irish household extract for making root beer. Dr. Price, del delicious flavoring extracts. Slick coffin flask. A little cone ink, stuff from Stanford's. More of a modern ink it's from Stanford's. A bunch of different milks, most from Hammond, Indiana. Different sizes also. There you go. Here's one from, uh, let's see, I think they had one from East Chicago. Well, somewhere here. a bottle or some type of sauce bottle I thought it turned out kind of cool so we kept it on to some either beers or sodas I know they're broke but we're gonna probably make them into some drinking glasses time at bottling works West Pullman Illinois crabgrass community now it was annexed to Chicago Roosh Bros Chicago Heights on a few of those two of those Got a Sobieski, Julian Swiderski, South Chicago, Bottling Works, Pop Bottle. Chicago Heights Bottling Works, got two of those. Tulsetti Beer. Very common Conrad Sipe. Crown Top. And this slick whiskey bottle, but I thought it was kind of cool, so we kept it. Oh, I guess I didn't really show you this one either. Alpha Salad Cream. Some milk glass. I don't know why. They might be probably most likely ponds. A little doll plate. And some other cobalt bottles. So, all in all, a really good day. A lot of cleaning. But it was worth it. So, stay tuned for next week's video. We're trying to do this every Sunday. So, hope you enjoyed.